Hi guys, welcome to uh, Team Panda Boo. I'm Panda, and this is Cheryl. Say hi, Cheryl. Yes, AKA Bamboo. So on this episode, we're actually doing another episode of Panda Built. So what we're doing today is we got some stuff in from Shopee. By the way, just so you know, none of the Shopee is not sponsoring us. This isn't some company that's sponsoring us. This is us buying it with our money and building it, and we're going to give it an honest review if it's a good quality or good purchase or not. And what we purchased was stuff for Cheryl's kittens. So we are going to build some of this and we're gonna go through everything. So let's get started. What did you buy them? <laughs> okay. Let's see what's in here. This may take me a minute or two. Hi guys, so welcome back to our channel, Team Panda Boo channel. So if you guys haven't subscribed to our channel, please hit like and subscribe. Just a commercial. <laughs> back to you, hon. <laughs> Thanks, hon. So what did you buy them? Is this... Is this a prison? Where did you get the cats? Obviously a cage. Yeah, a prison. It's not a prison, that's why it's big, so... Are not, are prisons not cages? Ooh, go, philosophy. Okay. All right, so we got a cage here. No instructions. It, it looks sturdy. Metal, that's a good thing, but I'm not seeing instructions. I'm gonna, we're gonna take a quick break. I'm gonna look through the box real quick and see if I can find a manual or, or anything. If not, oh, I'll get it's right It's more of here. a common sense. Common sense still requires a manual. So while my panda is searching and looking for the manual, so I'm your videographer for today. I mean, his videographer for today. Yes, I'm a he, not a she. Okay, so continue. As you were saying. Well, it looks like there's no manual. So, all right. Uh, I'm going to take this out of the thing and start looking at it, get an idea of how this goes together, and then we'll start building it. So, we're going to cut to the future where I got this all disassembled, and then we'll start building from there. So, I'm going to need a minute or two to look at it. So, fast forward. Oh, okay. You're here. All right. So, as you can see, I disassembled or moved it out of the bag and everything, and now I'm going to try to put it together. They gave me a bag with uh, all the hardware that I need, so that's good for them. What's nice is it actually gave me tools, so I could actually use these tools and try to put this together. So if you didn't have a screwdriver for this, they actually gave me uh, the star head or the plus or Phillips head as we call it in the States. So yeah, so now time to put it together.
Hey, hey, people, what's the commotion? Okay, so I got it built, got for the most part. Now I just got to finish putting it together. Ah! But that's what it looks like for the most part. Nice little roll around cage with locking wheels. So now I just got to put the stuff inside. Okay, finally got it finished for the most part. Now we're just going to put the stuff inside. But uh, I think it took me maybe 15 minutes to put it all together. Um, for what it is, I mean, it's okay. But I do have some issues with it. One is being the little support arms that hold the tray. I don't like that because they move around too much and there's nothing to bolt them in. Plus, I got two extra bolts that I have no idea where they go and yeah, but everything's bolted together correctly. I don't see anything I'm missing. Oh, there. Now this. Here. Yes, but that's the that's for the lid. I can't bolt the lid closed, and the lid doesn't have a hole, so it's just too extra. At least we have spares. But other than that, it looks okay. We'll put we'll put the stuff in it and put the cats in and see how they think about it. So as you can see, now it's my wife's turn to decorate the kit, her kitten's cage, so they have some place to live and sleep. Right, hun? Hi guys, if you are wondering, here are the total cost and breakdown of what I spent for the kittens. <laughs> 